So let's talk about money. In this video, I want to specifically talk about my income from YouTube in 2020, set a new goal for 2021, and actually give you some idea on what a YouTuber of my size, which is not that big, can make with YouTube and other income streams. But the other income streams will be covered in a separate video. In this video, I want to focus more on my YouTube income from 2020, as I mentioned. And if you ask yourself, you guys are getting paid? Well, yes, but actually no because there are some things you have to take into account and some prerequisites that you have to fulfill in order to be accepted from the YouTube Partner Program. And in this video, I will cover all these prerequisites in order to teach you. And if you're interested, make sure to stay tuned. But if you are a fan of upfront conclusions, I can tell you immediately what I made. I made 182 euros and 32 cents in 2020 from YouTube alone. So this video will be split into six parts and I will put links to every timestamp down in the description so you can jump around as you like. If you're new to the channel, my name is Josef, I'm an engineer based in Germany and on this channel I share knowledge in the field of AI, tech, engineering and productivity to help engineer your life as well as your mind. So if that's something you're into, make sure to subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the latest YouTube videos from my side. So as I mentioned, this video will be split into six parts. In the first part I want to talk about why do I even care about talking about money on an engineering channel and why I think it is important to talk about money in general. The second point is what prerequisites you need to fulfill in order to make money from YouTube. Point number three is what income streams you can start building as a YouTuber. Point number four is an important point which talks about expenses, then how much money I made in 2020, and at the end, I will set a revenue goal for 2021. So let's jump straight into point number one, which is why even care talking about money. And I think this is an important topic because I have learned so much from other YouTubers talking about money and being open about their income, expenses, and everything else that I thought I would share my knowledge or my income in particular to let people know what you can make as a small YouTuber, be completely realistic, be completely transparent, and I will keep doing this in the future as well. For example, when it comes to 2021, 2022, and so on, I will share everything I made from YouTube so that you can get an understanding of what you can actually make as a small YouTuber without having in mind all these big numbers these huge YouTubers are making. And I think you can also learn from these videos so I thought hey why not make a video myself so that you can also learn something from it. So with that out of the way let's jump to point number two which is what prerequisites you need to fulfill in order to make money from YouTube. This is very simple and a quick answer is you need 4,000 hours of watch time in one year and also 1,000 subscribers within one year. So you have to hit both goals that means hitting 4,000 hours of watch time but also the 1,000 subscriber threshold. If you fulfill that to this point when I release the video, these are the rules, then you can start earning money from YouTube and are accepted to the partner program. I want to now talk about the bigger topic of what income streams you can start building. I have a few points listed and I want to go through them step by step in a quick manner and I will do a separate video about these finance related topics and be more elaborate in the other videos so that you can learn something from them. But in this video, I want to particularly focus on my income from YouTube only, but also talk about things that you have to take into account. For example, if you want to look for alternatives when making money as a YouTuber or even a non-YouTuber. The first point I mentioned are affiliate programs. And one example would be, let's say I put a link down in my description of the microphone I'm using and you click on this link and you will be redirected to Amazon. You going to Amazon and buying something from Amazon will give me a small percentage of what you buy. And this is how I can make money. The disadvantage here is, and to keep it crisp and short, that you need to have some kind of user base to actually make use of these affiliate programs. Because if only a few people buy something from you, for example, Amazon will kill your partner program with them or affiliate program, and you would have to reapply. So size is very crucial when you take into account affiliate programs. Point number two are courses. So for example, you can build your own courses, host them on a platform, and then provide your audience with your own courses, or you can use other platforms like Coursera or Udemy. And with Coursera, I, for example, also create courses for Coursera at the moment. For example, one course I'm working on at the moment is on Coursera, which is an introduction to the finite element method. And this is just to, to test myself a bit and release my first course on that platform. And then I can start earning more experience before I release my own product, because I want to make sure that it's top notch and, and that people actually get uh, something for their money. A third way of earning money is using digital products. So with digital products, I mean something that you can sell something like a PDF, for example, or wallpaper or 
the icon pack which a lot of people have done in the past and in my case i used gumroad and i launched it last week so for example you can download my cv or resume templates there for a few bucks um, i will put the link of this as well down in the description so you can have a look at how the site looks like and maybe you want to use it for your own purposes as well point number four on our list are collaborations so at some point when you grow on your journey people or companies will reach out to you and they will ask you if you would like to collaborate with them sometimes these are companies which are not really fitting in your niche so you have to make sure that you pick the right ones you want to work with for example a lot of people reach out to me and i only work with specific partners for example in my case it's like i only work with partners i can identify myself with so otherwise it doesn't make sense you can also reach out to people by yourself if you think you are big enough and you would like to collaborate with people just reach out to people connect with them and uh, i think linkedin for example is a good place to connect with people and build relationships the last thing i mentioned here are sponsorships and you will see it in action now because this video is kindly sponsored by artlist artlist is a platform where you can download music which is license free and they have you covered so that you don't run into any trouble with youtube or any other copyright problems you can get two extra months if you sign up with the first link in the description so this was an example of a sponsorship where if you click the link i get a percentage or for example three months to my account it really depends on what collaboration or slash sponsorship partnership you're working with but um, this is also one income stream you can start building or maybe even not an income stream in terms of monetary supply but maybe also a service that they can provide you with so with that being said let's jump straight into my dashboard and see what i made in 2020 and as you might have seen already i made 182 euros and 32 cents which is something like 222 dollars at the current exchange rate roughly and one thing i want to show you is that at some point i started making money when i hit my f first thousand subscribers and the four thousand hours of watch time and the thing is that you see that you have to continuously put out content which is a good thing because youtube wants you to put out content because then they make mon more money and what you can see is i make no money for a long time so i'm making youtube for one and a half year now and i didn't make money for one year you can see for example this only goes to january 1st obviously but i didn't make money for roughly a year and then you start making slowly money for example 20 cents per day 40 cents per day and the maximum was like four euros per day where i was like whoa this is a lot and yeah it will grow over time because the com compound effect kicks in here that means you already have produced the content it's sitting on your page basically and creating money it's like a money making machine and you're earning money while you sleep which is an incredible concept for me and this is why i love making content which is something like videos courses or anything like that you can see the playback based cpm this is cost per meal this is something advertisers pay for the ad to play on your channel so if it's before video during a video or after a video um, and the important thing you have to take into account is this rpm value which stands for revenue per mil so for 1000 views i get one roughly one euro so for 1 million views i would get roughly 1000 euros and then of course assuming that this is the average rpm and it stays consistent over a long period of time and another important aspect is for example i'm having an education slash science slash tech channel someone who's making videos in the finance sector for example this is a video of the finance sector because i'm talking about money people from the finance sector are willing to spend more money on these finance videos because they know people who are watching finance videos they are willing to spend more money so we are putting more expensive ads because it's, more, it's kind of a competition the one who's bidding more in the ad competition is winning basically and then they can put the ads in front of the video so this is why these finance youtubers earn like incredible amounts of money for example for one video which goes viral like 60 60 maybe even 70 thousand euros which is like mind-boggling uh, it's just insane but don't let yourself discourage from these huge numbers for me personally this is a number which is okay um, i also want to talk about my revenue streams for this year so that you see what my goals are but money should never be like the motivator because eventually the hedonic treadmill kicks in where you say okay i, I made 1000 euros per year now i want to make 10,000. then i'm happy you want to make 20,000. then i'm happy and so on so you will actually never be happy if you couple your happiness with something fixed so rather enjoy the journey and 
let's say, for example, I use something like a 1% rule, become 1% better each video, whether it's like talking to the camera, become more confident in front of the camera, increase the production value of your videos, something like this, where you make sure that you enjoy the journey, which would be a tip from my side. And money is a good side income because if you can make money with your hobby, this is really the most incredible thing that can happen to you. Um, but don't fixate yourself too much on the money. Money will eventually come, but this is not something I'm aiming for. Of course, I want to make money because I cannot live from love and air, basically. But um, it, is, it is not my main intention. I actually just want to inspire people with my videos, maybe get them into the field of AI slash engineering or inspire them with my podcast, for example. And this is a nice side effect, as I mentioned. So with that being said, on enough of this inspirational talk, let us now jump to the last point before we wrap things up, which is my revenue goal for 2021. And I thought I would take something like 1000 euros, which we're fixed now, and then we will reassess in 2022 when we look back to 2021, if I actually hit that goal. So with that being said, that's basically it. My goal is 1000 euros. For one year, we will see if I can make roughly these 1000 euros. Hopefully I will make more, but I will be always transparent with you and we will have a look at the numbers in January 2022. If you have any questions, comments, thoughts or suggestions for this video, make sure to put them down in the comment section. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure please to do so because there will be more videos coming talking about finance, tech, maybe also productivity and how you can engineer your life as well as your minds in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.